Hey friends, I am Jaseem. Do you know what is the famous Pythagoras theorem? It is one of the beautiful and important facts in geometry as well as in the entire mathematics. In this video, I am going to explain this theorem. Let's consider a right triangle with perpendicular sides are A and B units and the hypotenuse is C units. Then according to Pythagoras theorem, A square plus B square is equal to C square. That is, sum of squares of perpendicular sides is equal to the square of hypotenuse. Or C is equal to positive square root of A square plus B square. That is, the Pythagoras theorem actually provides an equation to find the hypotenuse. But my question is, why? Why is this true for any right triangle? Let's discuss. By a geometrical approach, we can state this theorem in another way. First, take a right triangle. Now, construct a square on each of the three sides. Then, the area of the square drawn on the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of areas of squares drawn on the other two sides. That is, c square is equal to a square plus b square. Proof of the Pythagoras theorem is done using this definition. Let's see how. For that, Consider the right triangle and the two smaller squares. Then I am taking three more copies of the right triangle. Now join them with the squares like this. One above the triangle and the remaining two between the squares. So what we get in final is a square of side length A plus B units. Now in this larger square, what is the total area of non-triangular region? It is A square plus B square. Now I am doing a small trick. We have 4 right triangles. Just rearrange them like this. Right, up and down. Now observe that the non-triangular region turns to a square of side length C units. Which means area of this region is C square. So before rearranging the triangles, the total area was A square plus B square. And after rearranging, it became c square and that means c square is equal to a square plus b square and that is the geometrical proof of Pythagoras theorem. Before winding up, let me tell you one more thing. We have seen two definitions of Pythagoras theorem. First one is the most popular definition but second one is the actual Pythagoras theorem. That is the statement introduced by the mathematician Pythagoras. And first one is actually the modified Pythagoras theorem. And that's all about this video. My Gmail ID and Instagram ID are given in the description. So if you have any queries regarding the subject, please feel free to contact. Thank you so much for watching. Meet you in the next video with another concept and explanation.